Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. This week, Luxion released Keyshot 5.1. It's an upgrade to May 2014 release of Keyshot 5. Keyshot is known for being an easy-to-use, simple rendering package, quite popular among designers and engineers, because they don't have the time or the inclination to run 3D Studio Max, Maya, Modo, and other advanced rendering animation programs usually used by animators and filmmakers. Keyshot relies on CPUs primarily to create ray-traced renderings, and in the interface, you can specify the number of cores you'd like to deploy for the program. That's a useful feature if you'd like to reserve one or two cores for your other jobs, like Microsoft Office or CAD programs that you might still run while you are rendering a scene. The accuracy of the program has always been impressive and the results stunning. Let me show you a close-up of the test renderings of a Mini Cooper that I'm working on. You see this chrome plate bumper's reflections are actually visible in the surface of the car's painted body itself. Now Keyshot gives you a drag and drop interface so you can apply materials to your 3D models very easily. You can open some popular CAD formats like SolidWorks directly in the program. That's useful if you'd like to keep intact the history tree or the parametric grouping of your assembly structure. A lot of the people, I suspect, may prefer to work by importing models as OBJ, IGES, STL, or some other kind of lighter weight polygon formats. Now one of the new features introduced in Keyshot 5.1 is the patterning feature. With this, you can create many duplicate instances of a single model. This method is better than copying and pasting the same model over and over because patterning keeps the file size low and manageable. But it also lets you treat each instance as a separate object, so you can, for example, apply different materials to the identical items in the pattern. Now, when patterning, you can easily create a symmetrical arrangement, circular, or all lined up all together through this dialog box. But perhaps more important, you can also scatter the items at random to give the illusion of crowds or flocks. With Keyshot 5.1, you also get a lot more control over your materials, especially the ones available for download from Keyshot Cloud, introduced in Release 5. Now, Keyshot Cloud has additional materials you can download on demand in addition to the default library that comes with it. Materials like camouflage or patent metal surfaces, for example, let you adjust the orientation, the density of the pattern, or the characters of the texture through simple slider bars. All in all, Keyshot 5.1 is a robust release, a new upgrade to the rendering program that remains a favorite among CAD users who need something simple yet powerful to present the design ideas to their clients. Right now, you can download the trial version and see it for yourself. From the depth of bouncing rays and photorealistic reflections, this is Kenneth Wong with a parting shot for Keyshot 5.1.